Hi everyone, so today for Vlogmas I thought I would do festive questions as we haven't really done anything interesting today. I've got the questions on my phone so if I keep looking down that's what I'm looking at. So the first question is what family traditions do you have? So we don't really have a lot at the moment but because we now have Isabella I have quite a few that I want to start even though she's only going to be four months for Christmas. I want to start them now so that then we can keep going um, over them every year. I thought now's the best time to start. So one of the ones I want to start is a Christmas Eve box which I have done before. I did them last year for my family. Um, so I've done a Christmas Eve box for Isabella which was um, Vlogmas day one. I did what's in Isabella's Christmas Eve box and I've also done one for um, myself and Jamie so a mummy and daddy's Christmas Eve box which I will also do a video for what's in that. Um, so that's one of our traditions. Another one that we started was we did the shoebox appeal. We did a box for a girl and a box for a boy, which I want to do every year because I want to teach Is Isabella that she's not as lucky. She is so lucky and a lot of children are not as lucky as her. I want her to learn, learn and understand and really appreciate what she's given. I thought that's quite a nice way and it felt so good giving those shoe boxes and knowing that they'll be given to a child who there's such simple toys in there and things that are just like toothpaste, toothbrushes, things like that but they'll be so happy with them. So that's another one. Um, what else have we got? Our Christmas um, book advent calendar. We started that mainly because Isabella can't have an advent calendar with chocolates in because she's too little. So I started the Christmas book advent calendar but it's such a nice thing to do every year. So we do that. So yeah that's probably our main traditions. Uh, so next question is how are you celebrating Christmas this year? So this year like last year we're going to my nan and granddad's as my granddad had a stroke um, and is unable to um, like get out and about with the house it's quite difficult he needs a lot of care from my nan so it's just easier that we go to my nan and granddad so we're going there again this year and all my family go over it's really really lovely third question is real tree or fake tree I love a fake tree, a, a real tree. I really love a real tree. But this year we have a fake tree only because I was worried that having Isabella, I would forget to water it and it'd end up dead. And we've moved it so it's now next to the radiator. So it would need even more water, probably dry out even quicker. So it's just easier to have a fake tree, which is just as lovely, but I do miss having a real tree. But I'm gonna buy some of those little scented things that you put on your tree to make them smell like a real tree so it won't be too bad fourth question have you done all your christmas shopping so i have apart from my sister and i don't know what to buy her she's really difficult to buy for i've been shopping with her loads of times but I still haven't found anything so i'm still searching i asked her today and she's no help so but apart from that everyone else is pretty much done um, question five what is your least favorite part of christmas um so i don't like putting the decorations away at the end that's got to be a pretty rubbish thing to be doing bad part of christmas that it's got to be put away um but also but the competition that everyone has about everything Christmas related. Who has the best tree? Who has the most presents? Who's like wrapped their presents the best? Who's done the best Christmas activities? All of that's all a competition. It's not what it should be. But it is, especially now with the way like Facebook and Instagram and everything is sort of pushed more, if that makes sense, um, to compete with everyone else for the best Christmas. And really it should just be spending time with family. Um, favourite Christmas film? Ooh, I love all Christmas films. Um, I really love Elf though. Elf is one of my favourite but hmm, I'd probably have to say Home Alone. I love Home Alone. So I haven't watched it yet so I need to watch it soon. 
Um, number seven, what does Christmas mean to you? Um, Christmas for me is about spending time with my family. I, I love spending time with my family all throughout the year, not just at Christmas. Like my family mean everything to me. I think I realized it more so when my mum died that like you have to make the most of the time that you have with everyone and like every second is kind of crucial and just enjoy your time with them and Christmas is, Christmas really is about family and you just have to enjoy just making those special memories and that's even more so now we've got Isabella, I want her to spend time with her grandparents and her great grandparents and her aunties and her uncle, I just want her to spend time with everyone and just I want to capture those moments, I want to get pictures, I want to get videos and for us to be able to look back on those memories that we make and even though this year she won't like remember them, she'll never remember like these things that we're doing with her now but if I capture them we can look back on them and say look how much you enjoyed it because she laughs and she smiles and you can see she's enjoying it like when we decorated our tree she we were dancing around and she was laughing away and I want her to be able to look up, look back on that and think, wow, what a nice time I had when I was a baby. Um, number eight, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? So no, as a child I never did. Um, more recently, with the whole sort of Christmas Eve box tradition coming into place, um, we didn't really have presents as such that I put in them last year, but it was more treats, chocolate, sweets, pyjamas and things like that. Isabella's box I'm thinking of maybe putting a toy in for her only because she can't have the chocolates and sweets and things like that she can't have Christmas activities because she's too young to have activities to kind of do she can't do colouring she can't do anything like that so I'm thinking about maybe putting like a little toy that kind of won't hurt for having it a day early just to have an extra thing in her Christmas Eve box but apart from that, we won't open a present as such. It'd be something that I plan to have in her Christmas Eve box. Um, number nine, what would be your dream place to visit during the Christmas season? Hmm, it would have to be Disney, out in Florida as well. Because I've been there twice as a child and I really want to go back. Um, but at the moment, there's just no point with Isabella being so young. But I would love to take Isabella for Christmas because I remember going, I think I went one time in around January time it must have been, the first time I went as a child. And I remember all the lights and everything and it was just amazing. I'd just love to go back. I love anything Disney, absolutely love Disney. So I would love to go to Florida and be at Disney for Christmas. And number 10, what's your Christmas wish? My Christmas wish is that all my family have the best Christmas that they possibly can, especially Isabella. I want her to have the perfect Christmas. Unlike any parent, she has to have the perfect Christmas. I don't mean by she's got to have loads of presents, she's got to have loads of toys. I just want her to enjoy her time and be happy and just enjoy Christmas with lots of cuddles and lots of fun. So yeah, that's my 10 bestest questions. Thank you for watching.